Hi friends! Today we're looking at another building in the Dreaming Up book and I made one right behind us to show you. What do you mean it doesn't look like a building? It's just a bunch of boxes and rectangles stacked up? Actually, it is a lot like the building that I'm going to show you today. So again, it comes from the Dreaming Up book that's got lots of famous buildings that kids recreated with things they can find at home. The building today is called Habitat 67. Habitat 67, take a look at that. It's in Canada and it is a stacking building where all of the different apartments, people live in those, the apartments aren't right one on top of each other, but they're kind of apart a little bit so that each apartment has a garden. If they were all stacked up on top of each other, then they might not be able to have that nice outside garden space. But they designed this building so that lots of apartments could be there, but they all have their garden space. These kids had an idea to make the building using Legos. Now, I didn't have Legos at home, so I found some boxes and some books that I could use to stack up to kind of look like Legos. The words in today say one by one, block by block, plastic shapes, inner lock, yellow, red, white, and black, all connect in a stack. Build a world brick by brick, hold them close, hear the click. So they are using Legos, so they hear a click. But see how they're not going straight up and down? And they're kind of up a little stacked on top so that they leave some space. And that is how I made mine today. I didn't go right up and down. So I looked around the house to find rectangular boxes that I could stack up. So boxes, books, games. I used Cheerios and trash bags and some printer paper, a game, some crackers. There's that construction book some hot chocolate and a Kleenex box, and I stack them up. So if these were apartments where people lived, this could be their little garden, this could be a little garden, this could be a little garden. They have outside space. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick the architect. In today's building, there it is, Habitat 67, and the architect is Moshi Safti. And he actually used Legos when he was designing some buildings because he liked to see how they connected so he could make buildings. And his quote is, I want my children to be able to meet and play and communicate with many other children on their own. So if children were living in here, they could come out and talk to each other and play together on their own little balconies because of the way that they're connected. So today, go see if you can find some things to build. If you have Legos, great. But if you don't have Legos, look around and see what you find, the boxes or books that you can make a building like this. All right, have fun friends.